Our summer of festival fun isn't over yet because one of the tastiest outdoor events in the Berg is just <laughs> around the corner. It's so much fun. The countdown to Little Italy Days is on. It's the city's largest heritage festival, a celebration of all things Italian from the food to drinks and the entertainment. So a mini Little Italy Days has popped up right outside the PTL studios. Daisy, we hear there is a lot going on up there or out there. So show us around and tell us what people can expect when they come visit. Buongiorno, David and Heather. Yes, we have turned our traffic circle into a mini Little Italy Days. We're basically here, Liberty Avenue and Bloomfield. Just imagine that that's where we are. I'm actually here with the director. We have Sal here, and thank you so much for joining sure. us because this is such a beloved event, and it's the 22nd year, right? It is, yes. Good morning. This is a new Liberty Avenue here in Bloomfield, right here at your studios. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes, a lot going on. It starts this Thursday. First of all, everybody's Italian next weekend, so everybody right. is Italian. <laughs> So let's start off with the Celebrity Bocce at 6 o'clock on Thursday. We have a couple of your uh, TV people going to yeah. be playing in the, in the tournament. It's the Irish against the Italians. Mm -hmm. And then let's talk about the entertainment. I mean, I'm a big entertainment guy. We've yeah. got three stages of over 30 three. acts. Yes. Well, it's every year we have this. Yeah. So, but uh, we have like Dr. Zoot Italian Band. We have uh, Morella the Musician coming. We have uh, Billy Mancini Entertainer. We have the nation's number one Earth, Wind & Fire tribute band will be there, Ooh. actually. And uh, among several other great entertainers, all John Lupone, an opera singer. So we have some great entertainment again, all starting next weekend. A lot next of Thursday. Yes. Well, and, and, and even we have entertainment by Hank Eduardo here playing. Uh, back here and giving us a taste, but we are actually going to also talk really quickly about the pageant that goes on. It's a Little Italy Days pageant, and thank you so much, Marianne, for bringing the girls here. So definitely, thank you, Daisy. So I know that there are five different categories, and yes. you have three represented here today. I do. This is Hadessa, Gia, and Rosalie, and our pageant is Saturday at 11:30, and it's for girls ages four to 19. No experience needed. Oh. They, oh no, they just pick a dress of their choice they do a models walk Look at that. and they answer two questions for the younger division it's what do you like to do in the summer and why do you want to be Miss Little Italy for the older ladies why do you want to be Miss Little Italy and tell us something really special about your family that's so, so awesome yeah applications till Thursday night and I hope that more people will sign up. Yeah, and, and I know this is this is for the next person. Yes. yes. So you're gonna want this yes. crown. But in addition to all of this fun stuff, there is food. And yes. that's what a lot of people come to the fair for. I mean, look at this from Patty Cake Bakery. It's good to see you. Yes, nice Thank you, you so much for bringing this. And I know that you have some very special treats just for Little Italy Days. Well, we're so happy to be here from Bloomfield. And I just want to go down the line. Our most popular items we have tiramisu we have our cannoli which Ooh. will be filling to order order at the festival and then it wouldn't be little italy days if we didn't have pizza I and spaghetti and meatballs love those so much how cute and then we also have some italian inspired cupcakes we have a chocolate espresso a spaghetti and meatball and a lemon cello so cute now even though i'm usually the dessert person I definitely want to check out Tambellini's here because they are one of the most popular spots. Hi, Michael. Good to see you. Because you brought all kinds of yummy things here as well. Yes, we have our stuffed shells, meatball hoagie. We have an Italian sausage hoagie. We also have chicken parm, chicken parm hoagie. Uh, all kinds of a variety of different things. Yeah, and you guys always have a line that's like out the door. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try some of these stuffed shells. I'm gonna have stuffed shells. I've got a cannoli going on. We're gonna dance, we're gonna have a party, and David and Heather, feel free to come on out, enjoy our own little Italy days. We're gonna jam here with Hank Eduardo and all of the girls, and we're gonna snack. Come on oh, out, wow. we got some great food for you out we're, here. We're like leaning into the screen to like, see the like food up close. We could smell it. Yeah, I mean, whatever you want to bring in, like whatever leftovers exist. You know what? No, I say let's just go. No, no, you let's can't just go. We have a show to do, David. Enjoy. Oh, she's right outside. Oh my Enjoy, God. Daisy. It looks fantastic. <laughs> Well, Little Italy Days is returning to Bloomfield in just three days. The festival is shutting down a half mile stretch of Liberty Avenue for the weekend. So it is from Thursday through Sunday. And for more information, just go to PittsburghTodayLive.com.